Our next guest is a mixed bag of goodies. He is a psychological illusionist, a hypnotist, mentalist, best-selling author and world-renowned voice actor. Hello. On our shores for the Armageddon Expo down in Wellington, we welcome America's Joshua Seth. Thank you. Good morning. Very good. I, you know how late in the morning it is for me? Is it? I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Why? Because you're 19 hours different. Oh, of course. Oh, boy, it's midday where you it? were. Yeah. <laughs> so, as I said, you're touring the world as, as a hypnotist, magician, all sorts of things. Yes. We will get to that in a tick or two. Sure. Obviously, you're very well known for your voice work. Mm -hmm. Digimon, would he? Would, would Ty be your, your what you are most well known for, would you say? I played Ty, the leader of the Digimon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that is uh, that is basically the role that made my whole voiceover career. Yeah. And and ten to fifteen odd years on, is he still a part of your life and yeah, because, it's a, because of the internet now, nothing ever dies or gets old. There are always new audiences coming in. And, uh, you know, you, you, can, you can find out about old shows, shows as, as though they are new. And also it is going to be new because there's going to be a 15th anniversary Brilliant. version of it. Yeah. yeah. And Akira as well. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm Tetsuo the... That is at the character. top of the game in terms of anime, isn't it? My personal favorite, yeah. and it's the, sh the movie that got me into animation because I, I was a film student at uh, NYU in, yeah. in, in Manhattan, and I went in to see the original Akira in an art house theater and came out thinking, this is the future of animation. And then when they did a, a sort of an enhanced version for mm. America, uh, asked me to voice the lead, and so that was ah. very does, full circle. How many years between being that film student and actually voicing that then? About seven lean years years wow. in Hollywood yeah Yay. and then you just decide that that's it I'm I'm gonna give the voice stuff away and I'm gonna go follow the, the passion was is, is the hypnotist stuff yeah and I felt on the stage I felt like I had golden handcuffs because I always wanted to tour the world and do my live show which I've been developing basically my whole life and because I was fortunate enough to be the voice of a hit TV show I could never leave Hollywood, yeah. so I really had to make a decision, because they kept pulling me back in. Mm. I had to make the decision to leave all that behind and just go on the road. And it's been a few years now of traveling and touring and seeing wonderful places. And this is my third time in, uh, in New in Zealand. Zealand. Yeah, here, you yeah, I, would, I wouldn't trade it yet? for the world. Oh, yeah, jumped off of it last time oh, I was here. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> hey, um, and just back to that, the animation, though. In, in terms of your Pixar and your DreamWorks and stuff this, these days, are voice actors like permanently working voice actors are they threatened in a way by by your big celebs and things who they tend to bring like two or three of them in per movie to try and you know get the crowds in in, in a way the the main roles in the movies such as i was doing when i was in the voice industry in hollywood those are now almost exclusively reserved for celebrities right. of course i understand why because they get on the talk shows and they yeah, put yeah. butts in the seat yeah. uh, but there is still a place for the professional voice actor to um, make funny voices <laughs> and uh, and in the, the peripheral characters or uh, there's so much out there there's so much content out there now all over the internet and the, the 500 channels that there's yeah. there's other ways to do it so how did you learn what you do now are you self taught are you in terms of psychological illusions yeah. my parents are psychologists my father's a hypnotherapist he taught me self hypnosis and power of the mind techniques when i was young okay. so that i could accelerate through school and i did i did college in half the time and i was able to achieve a number Number of, Did uh, you? Mar yeah, uh, uh, a number of uh, scholastic markers very early on uh, in my life and very easily be because I was able to focus my mind and, and not be distracted. I am super intrigued. I'm going to bring a little friend in. She's called okay. Asta. Uh, come Here on, Anasta, because I don't know if we need two for the trip, but <laughs> Hello, she's definitely lovely. 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 to meet you. Yes, lovely to meet <laughs> okay, you Okay, cool. Well. Um, what are we going to so, do? All right, well, we'll do something basically uh, out of my book here. <laughs> so I've written a book, Finding Focus in a Busy World, how to tune out the noise and, and work well under pressure. And, okay. and, and that's the idea I was getting at, which is this is the challenge of our times. We have constant distraction from the Internet, from constant social media feeds, from, in my case, children as well, pulling at our attention all the time oh. yet to do anything well you have to focus your mind and when you can focus your mind you can do amazing things right. that Not is what I do on stage in the show <laughs> while she's taking a look at that here's another it. book it'd be kind of cheating to use my book I wrote it well I was uh, thinking you uh, know. this is about intuition just say stop wherever you like oh stop okay look at the first word on that page just first okay, word yeah, okay yeah uh, I want you to actually while she's doing that take this book turn to any page find a really big word really long word difficult word I want you to focus on the first letter of the word that you've got in your mind <laughs> okay You've memorized it by this point, right? Mm -hmm. Look at me now, think of the first letter. It's either an A, B, C, D, or... Did you see her blink? I saw her blink. That blink is a get ready. You did it on D, therefore it's E. First letter is E. 
That's how the mind works. <laughs> We're communicating non verbally that. all the time. I'm whether we want to this. or not. Have you focused in on a long word now? Good. Sorry, this is your, my word. your word is a short word, though. It's a boom boom. It's a two syllable word, yes? Is it, um, <laughs> is it something numerical, something to do with numbers? Does that make sense? Yes? Yes. Okay, again, you could tell without her saying anything, just from the look on your face, uh, it's very expressive. And <laughs> I think, think of it now as the word you're thinking of, is it even? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Moving right along. Oh, yes, right. Moving right along. Uh, you got a longer word that you're thinking of, more Not complicated. Too long, no, no, no. no. Go for Brooks. To get another word. Go no, no, I like that word. I that want I've you got, to go I've for got a focus long. I'm remembering it. Yeah. No. <laughs> more, more than six or seven letters, at least. Yes, long, good, good, solid word. Want it difficult? Okay, this is a big finish. All right. Let's see. Uh, any, anyone can do this. Look at her and think of the first letter. Say the first letter that comes to your mind now. P. Is the first and the first letter of your word is. Was e. F. You were wrong. That was not <laughs> successful. I'll keep doing yeah. this job. How embarrassing for you. No. That's, <laughs> that's, that would be brilliant, though. If that worked, Imagine. that would have been awesome. You said uh, P. She said F. Okay, let's focus on the letter F. The word's not focused. That would be, uh, that would be uh, too easy. Um, it's a longer word, a more mm. complicated word than that. Um, boom, 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 boom. I want to say it's a four-syllable word. Are you focusing on a four-syllable word? The last letter. Think of the last letter now. Is it an R? <laughs> Yes? yes, I'm going to say it is. Uh, I've got a board over here. I'm going to write what comes to my mind because I use intuition to uh, make these gut, my mind these, die. these gut decisions all the time. Uh, I'm getting a sense of a celebration. Does mm. that make sense? I love a good okay. celebration. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and a rather long uh, word here. Okay. I am committed or should be. Okay. Gone. For the first time, tell us what is the word you're Firecracker. thinking. Firecracker. No! How did you do that? I'm not even good at concentrating. Oh my gosh! How did you do? I want this book. <laughs> <laughs> For years, I've had all to do this word, this focus word. How did oh you do that? Power of the mind. It's when you focus your mind, you can do amazing things, and That's you did insane. it. You did that. You projected that to me. Did I do that. Yes. Holy <laughs> moly! I'm magic. <laughs> Joshua, you are amazing. Thank you. That is Ridiculous. very good. Um, you can catch Joshua's show oh, at Wellington. Now. Actually, you know what? I don't want to read this. I want you to do it in one of your voices of your choice. <laughs> All right. You want to look down uh, number uh, three? Okay. Who are you going to do it in? You, uh, I'll do Ty. Okay. You can catch Joshua Seth's show at Wellington's Opera House this Saturday as part of Comic-Con. He's also in Armageddon's animation panel on Sunday. For details, just head to the links on our website. Don't go away. Live shot Aaron. <laughs> 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 Keep reading! Keep oh, reading! No. Uh, uh, Aaron Burnett back in the kitchen <laughs> with his unique take on chocolate mousse. That's just after this. Uh, you're <laughs>